Ecosystem Management, One Community Progress Update, number 528. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I am the Executive Director of One Community Global. We are the number one GSS, Global Sustainability Systems Organization in the world, and this is our May 7th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. Today, what I want to talk about, what I want to talk about is ecosystem management. And if you're somebody that watches our progress updates or you're just somebody interested in sustainability, you already recognize that as a species, we're not doing so hot in the ecosystem management category. Like we are destroying ecosystems globally. We are poisoning the, the air, water, and food, not only for ourselves, but for everything else that lives on this planet. We are decreasing biodiversity. It's grim, it's grim and it's not good, you know? And so, and we have the ability to do exactly the opposite, you know, like we have the ability to create amazing sustainability. We have to create the ability to create 100% sustainable energy at this point. We have the ability to absolutely grow food that is more diverse, more nutritious, locally grown, fresher food than what you get in the grocery store. And you know, we have the ability to build homes that are artistically more artistic than the homes that we're there we're generally building right now last longer built without toxic materials uh and and are just overall better than the homes that we're living right now but these ideas have not been mainstream adopted why like what is what is going on with our ecosystem management abilities if we have the ability to create these things and not just these things we have the ability to create the emotional aspects you know every week i talk about the physical foundations of sustainability that our organization is dealing with and focused on open sourcing and free sharing and the emotional foundations of sustainability you know, and so when we talk about the human ecosystem the idea of like what does it take to truly enrich the human organism and our project has been built on the six human needs. You know, so there's certainty, comfort, variety, significance, love and connection, uh, growth and contribution. Those are the six human needs. You know, and so if you think about like the human ecosystem, the human physical and psychological ecosystem, if you're just to look at the uh, human being as an individual, you know, you have the physical foundations of health and happiness, and then you have the emotional foundations of health and happiness. But if we're really going to look at ecosystem management, you know, our project is designed around the idea that create an amazingly supportive place for the individual that also addresses all of these other things that affect our global global ecosystem. It's about recognizing that we are the keystone species, like we're the keystone species capable of managing it all. And if we can create a living model that not only manages it all, but does so by better supporting the individual, by bringing together people with shared values and interests and creating a way of living that most people would consider to be far better than the way that they're living right now. If we can create that, we have the ability to create a uniquely meaningful life experience that can positively and permanently transform the world for everybody. If we can make it accessible to everyone. Like, there's people already living this way, you know? There's people that are already living and, and eating food that is more nutritious, not sprayed with the most the common three poisons that we spray on our food right now, and it's locally grown. There's people that's already that are already producing their their energy renewably. There's people that are already living in homes that are that are sustainable, last longer, and are built without toxic materials. There's people already living in a culture of growth and 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 um, self improvement, and also even in contribution with co contribution. There's people that are already doing uh, you know radically transformational education programs. Why haven't these ideas spread globally? 
why isn't it the norm? Why isn't it mainstream? And so our answer to that is, is because it hasn't been made easy enough or affordable enough yet. And we want to add to that to demonstrate putting all these things together, the food, the energy, the housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, open source education model, the economic models, and the stewardship of all of this, putting it all together and demonstrating as attractive enough. So putting it together so it's easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And I think humanity does want a world that works for everybody, don't we? Right? Like, like as a species, we would like to live in a sustainable civilization. I think the process is... It hasn't been demystified enough. You know, it hasn't been made easy enough. It hasn't been demonstrated as attractive enough for people to be like, I want to live like that. And so one community is addressing that. You know, we're putting it all together in one place to build one community as a place where people can come and experience, you know, everything that you see happening in the background of this video. You know, seven different sustainable building models all in one place, all open source and free shared. And each of the components open source and free shared so that it can be replicated as an individual component as well as the complete model. So when people come, they might be like, I'm not interested in building a teacher demonstration hub. Like, are you kidding? I don't, I don't know 50 people that I'd want to live with and collaborate with, let alone 200. Or in the case of one community, 500, 2,000 is where we're going with it. You know, the, I just want to do my own thing. Great. Build a sustainable home. Build yourself an earth bag constructed home. It'll last hundreds of years and be healthier for you and your family. And it's a step in the right direction that's way better than the way that most people are building right now. As an example, grow yourself some food. You know, separate yourself from that, you know, fossil fuel supported industry of fertilizers and pesticides and GMO food and grow yourself something that's better. You know, that's a step in the right direction. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing all these different components, all this stuff, and then putting it together as the complete model designed to teach people how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well. So we're building a teacher demonstration hub designed to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs. We're creating all of the, you know, handy and as easy to follow as possible step-by-step -step instructions to make this, this uh, replicable. And we're doing it because we think that everything can be DIY replicable. And we're demonstrating that. Our city center is a 17,000 square foot building that we're designing to be DIY replicable. How is that? Well, I mean, if you look at a city like New York or Los Angeles, everything is built by people. And those people were taught by other people. And so if you break it down into all its individual components, there's nothing there that requires knowledge that somebody can't learn. You know, and so something like the city center compared to the things that humanity has already created. I've had people say like, oh, man, one community is just so grand. It's like, man, if you look at the com complexity of creating something like a modern day movie and compare it to one community, I think the movie and the number of people that invest their time and energy in creating something like that is more challenging than what is it we're creating. You know, and so we're creating the step by step instructions to prove that and we'll build one community to fill in all the blanks to double check all the details of what it is that we're creating and to show what is possible when we set our intent to create a uniquely meaningful life experience designed to teach other people how to replicate it and designed to create positive world change by demonstrating ecosystem management first and foremost by recognizing that we are a part of every single ecosystem that we are interacting with and we're capable of consciously managing that in a way that benefits us, benefits our friends and family, benefits our local and regional uh, interactions and people as well, nationally and globally. And so we have the ability to work globally to create a world that works for everybody. And one community is here to make that as easy as possible. So this is our idea for ecosystem management. Recognize that we're a part of the ecosystem and then manage each component of that open source, free sharing it. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're a 100% volunteer organization, including myself, creating this because we want to live this way, creating this because we see a world that works for everybody within our lifetime and how to achieve that by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea spreads on its own and creating the step-by-step -step instructions for that.
this is what one community is doing to create a better world for everybody and everybody's invited to participate. So if you want to support us the easy way possible, or if you want to see all the different ways to support us, visit our helping page. The easiest way to support us, like and subscribe. If you like an email update of positivity and our weekly progress update, visit our website, click the subscribe, subscribe to our weekly progress update uh, newsletter. You'll get one email a week with this video and our, a, a link to our weekly progress update blogs. If you'd like to see what our entire team has done, every single person on our team has done in the last week, visit our written blog. And you go back for years and see what we've been working on and how we've been tracking that every single year moving forward. Just step by step showing exactly what it is that we're working on. Of course, if you'd like to see all of our open source tools and resources and content and the details of what it is that we're creating and what we've already created, visit our website. And last but not least, uh, if you'd like to just support our algorithm, stick around for another couple of minutes, see bullet points and all the major components of our project. Um, and yeah, thanks for supporting us. Thanks for watching to the end. You know, and being a part of this ecosystem management, even if you're just watching right now, you're still a part of something amazing. You're part of a movement that is building steam. It's building momentum. We've had over 700 volunteers contribute to our project so far. We're coming up on 800, actually. And we're putting into place the tools that we need and the systems that we need. Talk about ecosystem management, managing the one community ecosystem so that we can grow our team from the active 50 members that it is right now to 200 members by the end of the year and then see if we can scale even behind, farther than that to even more rapidly complete all the DIY instructions, you know, all of the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and everything that's necessary to build one community so we can start construction sooner and we can demonstrate what's really possible. So this is what One Community is up to. Thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The One Community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.